Hey, how's it going? This is Darren Goodman from GuitarControl.com bringing you this video lesson. Uh, today I want to show you um, how to do some uh, cool natural harmonics and uh, do a lick. Uh, it's an Alex Lifeson lick from the Rush song Red Marchetta. Uh, so anyway, uh, be sure to click on the link in the description for the tabs and let's get close up and take a look at this. Okay, for those of you who do not know what um, a natural harmonic is, um, if you just lightly touch the string and as you're coming along, you, you can hear that, but those are what they call a, a natural harmonic. And they're everywhere on the fretboard, but there's certain frets where they're very, very prominent. Um, if you play them on the 5th, 7th, and 12th, they're very, they're very clear there. Um, this riff does you um, does have um, a harmonic that's on a different fret, but we'll cover that uh, when we get to that. All right, so uh, the first uh, thing that's kind of talk about is the technique on how to do this. So let's just look at the the twelfth fret on the sixth string. So you don't want to place your finger between the frets like you would if you were fretting the note. You actually want to touch your finger just right over the top of the actual fret itself on the 12th fret. So you're not pressing down, you're just touching. You hear that? Okay, so when you hit it, you want to lift your finger away from the string, because if you leave your finger on there, it, um, since it's touching the string, it's going to kind of mute it and uh, shorten its um, sustain time. So you want to hit the note and then raise your finger up. So it's almost a simultaneous thing that when you pick, you lift your finger up at the same time. So uh, you're going to want to practice doing that. You know, like I said, they're on the. You can do it on the fifth, the seventh, and the twelfth fret on any of the strings. So the first thing you want to do is just practice that technique and um, get that down so that way it's uh, easy easy to do it and that you can uh, you know you don't have you know you're not having trouble uh, getting it to sound right. All right, so for this uh, riff for Red Barchetta, it's in it's in two sections. Okay, so for the first uh, section, we're going to go to the twelfth fret of the third string. And I'm doing this with my third finger. I find it easier, you know, if I, I do the ones here with my third finger and then the ones over here on the seventh fret with my first finger. But you could just use one finger, you know, whatever whatever is easier for you. So we have the twelfth fret of the third string. And then we go to the seventh fret of the uh, fifth string. And then the seventh fret of the fourth string. So. And then back to the 12th fret, 5th string. So, so far we have. Then you simply do those same harmonics again, but it's the uh, the rhythm. And you, you know, if you look at the tabs and look at the notation, you'll see that the, the timing for this. So we have 12, 7, 7, 12, 12, 7, 12, or 7, 12. So that is the first, uh, the first half of, of this riff. So for the second half, the very first um, harmonic we're going to hit is actually on the fourth fret of the fifth string. All right. So when when you're playing one uh, harmonics that are not on um, the fifth or the seventh fret, sometimes they can be a little bit trickier to get them to to sound correct and, and ring out. So again, like I said in the you know in the beginning, is you're gonna really want to practice this technique to to get it down. Okay, so we have on the fifth string, we're at the fourth fret, 
and then we're going to go to the third string, seventh fret, then the fifth fret. So, whoops. Then to the seventh fret of the fourth string. So again, we're on the fourth fret of the fifth string, third string, seventh fret, uh, fifth fret, and then seventh fret of the fourth string. So. Okay, so that's the first half of the second um, riff. Then you go back and play the fourth fret of the fifth string again, back to the seventh on the third string. Whoops. Uh, fifth fret on the third string, and then seventh fret on the second string. So the second half. All right, so both of those sections, uh, both the first and the second half of the second riff, and that entire section um, is repeated as well. So um, get the first riff down, get the second riff down, and then put the whole thing together. We have. And that's it. All right, so. Uh, Harmonics are really cool. There's there's like some other cool uh, songs that have riffs that are you know based off of using uh, um, natural harmonics like this. This is just you know I'm a I'm a Rush fan, so this has just always been kind of a favorite one for me. Um, anyhow, it's a fun way to be able to practice getting getting those down. Um, um, you may have already done this before, but you can actually tune your guitar by the 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 harmonic that's on the fifth fret of the sixth string. <laughs> is the same note as the seventh fret of the fifth string. Um, it's uh, not looked at as the most accurate way to tune your guitar, but you know, in a pinch, it'll, it'll get you there. So anyhow, I hope that you got something out of that and that you uh, enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to uh, click on the link in the description for the tabs. And if you like the video, uh, leave me uh, a comment. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and um, until next time.